Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a mermaid. For the profile we start with a circle that then we extend and we do the hair floating in the water, the arm, the body and the tail. Now we sketch the general shape of the fish beginning with the fins. The large ones on top and on the bottom and then the face. Once we have a general outline, we go over it and we give it a better shape. We give it some texture lines with loose strokes. It is important that they don't look solid, I mean stiff. We tongue with small circles to give a feeling of the scales. That's for the head and the body. The fins won't have scales, but they will be wavy. As you noticed, I'm drawing with a mechanical pencil with a blue lead. This helps giving the atmosphere of underwater and in the sea, or so I hope. Good, we go over it again for greater intensity, and then we draw other small fins, loosely, again, I don't want them to be stiff. We sketch the scales and give it some shade to the body. We don't want a wood looking fish, so don't outline the fins too much. If they are a little blurred or lost, they may give a feeling of movement. We draw a tense rope with which the mermaid is pulling the fish. That's because she's a cowboy sort of mermaid. <laughs> Good, this is fun. Now we do some shading on the hair, on the neck, the body. We create the volumes with light and shadow. It's like magic. <laughs> The list of materials is in the description of the video. From the waist down, she will have scales, of course. We draw the tail and a shadow. This will make it look as if it is close to the bottom. With a fine eraser or with the corner of a regular one, we do a little circle, which will be the first of a series of bubbles. Had I thought of this earlier, I would have left it blank from the beginning. In the comments, I would love it if you let me know whether you like fantasy drawings like this or not. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.